when coaches have a real eye for detail, excitement for detail and demand that sort of standard, like all of a sudden it's not just a passing drill. You, you've already sort of answered one of my questions. What, one of the things I, I jotted down was repetition over sort of new stimulus coming in. There's, there's a lot of talk within the UK coaching um, sort of world about coming up with new stimulus to, to engage participants so they won't just be doing the same drill, but you're potentially giving them the same same problem to solve in a different way but I'm sort of with, with what you talked about about Aaron Smith I, I'm really keen that if you're that motivated you'll just go out and practice the stuff that you know works so mm. it was interesting to hear you say then about a, like the driving range analogy sort of hit home Tiger Woods isn't going and trying a different drill with his driver just because it looks a little bit fun yeah 100% and and I, you're so right as we all <laughs> there's so much excitement about a, a coach wants to bring a, a tennis racket and tennis balls and coordination and, and all this stuff but um even just with a simple drill like you try to have pre uh, uh ppp so that power load for a start with good um i'm sort of explaining all the, the different cues of the pass with with good thumb pressure on the front of the ball good turnover of the, of the top hand have the ball spiraling beautiful with the nose up so it's easy to catch and landing on the mark that you want to hit it like out of 10 to get all those steps right you, you're never going to get 10 out of 10 of that pass but you may get um two out of 10 of all those things clicking like yes it's already it's all accurate and getting caught and all the rest of it but I suppose when coaches have a real eye for detail excitement for detail and demand that sort of standard like all of a sudden it's not just a passing drill um, and like that that triple threat tunnel like there's no way a team's doing passing ways and going 100% forward and back all in the tunnel um, so rather than getting into that new stuff and all the bells and whistles, I know exactly what you're saying here. Yeah. Hey team, thanks for watching that Rugby Bricks YouTube video. Please subscribe to the channel. I want to point out the four passing sessions we have put together. What it is is I coach you through these four sessions, 60 seconds of work, 15 seconds of rest for 10 exercises. I coach you through, give you the cues, the tips. These exercises are, are drills that the professional use to keep their passing game sharp and keep developing their skill set. So I'd love for you guys to check these out. The link to these four sessions is below. I guarantee if you get through those 100 passing sessions, those really important coaches and selectors are going to really notice your skill standing out on the rugby field. Thanks for watching again. I'll see you back here again for another Rugby Bricks YouTube video.